<laughs> well, hello. This one or that one? I wanted to maintain Nile. A very good morning. I hope you are doing well uh, this beautiful uh, Tuesday morning. Kamukoko County, by the way, I hope you caught that conversation that uh, Sam was having uh, with uh, the county, let's call them officials, the governor, the speakers, etc. Because it's going to be important for you to demand from your governor and your leaders at county level for certain services, and uh, especially as they're operating on a sort of supplemented budget as they wait for the full budget and revenue allocation. Just saying, I just had to put that out there because uh, after election, we to attack our pote. See to governor Nairobi, you know, we TV class, you know, we have a lot of money. We have I hope you're doing well wherever you are. This is uh, Tuesday and today we're going to talk about social issues here. Today it is come but don't stay. Rather come we stay. The court ruled uh, just the other day. Let me just uh, make sure I have it right. That uh, come we stay is not a marriage no matter how many years you are spent together. Now if this was any other court we would be saying oh that's just the high court but this was the Top the apex court, the Supreme Court. You don't go anywhere after that. There it is on your screen. Come we stay is not marriage year after year spent together. Now I know that this uh, most of you or even now probably are nudging your partner. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably nudging them. Uh, but I want to put some of this conversation in context based on some very interesting things that were said in in, in the deliberations and the, in the rulings uh, that were made by the Supreme Court judges. Very interesting things. We'll read some of them. Some I'm sure will make Shatter happy. Uh, some will not. <laughs> Let's introduce the panel here. Bobby, how are you doing? Well, Better Bobby. Mambo. Kosasana. Meaning Kosalama, very yeah. happy, mm -hmm. excited. Mm -hmm. Leo to me, Kala Kodine. Okay, we do this a lot, but I like it. I like that we did it today. Yeah. Yeah. No, my boots. Blue blues, day. Blues everywhere. Right. Blues everywhere. <laughs> eh? That's your Chelsea. That's your Chelsea. Chelsea. <laughs> blues, <laughs> but not Chelsea. Night Wanganga walking, waltzing around the studio. Blue. With his <laughs> <laughs> mid level team. Woko uh, <laughs> Vipi. Me, Niko Sawa. Yeah. Uh, Nico Fiti. Uh, I must say that over the weekend, I had fun in Nanyuki, then I bonded extremely. Yeah. Extremely with my children. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's always good to be uh, a new week to be here with you yeah. guys, and my parents are watching. Hi, mom and dad. Hey, what up? What up, mama, Bobby, mama, Bobby? What it is? To go up, to Nalinda, to talk. At least every Tuesday, Nigeria plays you. It's also good to get into you. CJ, how are you doing? How are you? Good, good, good. Yes, everything is okay. Yes, yes, mama, because, everything good. Yes, yeah, so CJ and I were white. You know what? Telepathy, we're talking about. Move on. Yes, it's na, it's na fikiria. And I nearly oh. got you. Oh. <laughs> okay, I, okay. I see what you did okay. there. Okay. Okay. Shut up, boy. Wagwan. How are you doing, bro? Feeling Iron Man. Okay. Everything okay. nice, everything crisp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Nobody a kikos. Move life. Oko sao. Tuko sao. Mm -hmm. Tuna bambana. Look, I'm here. Vision 2030 Arambe Stars World Cup. Where Uki Uta Wapeleka? Yes. You know, when, uh, when you. Oh, sorry, guys. So, Saturday <laughs> is uh, officially accredited coach by FIFA and CAF and FKF. Mm. And uh, when he, there's a time when we went to Qatar. Well, not a time last year, Walter. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy, Aliona Sise, the Senegal coach, and he lost it. Man. Just to have a, a raster man on the sidelines, such a stellar record. Good stuff, yeah, man. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, so. Yes. Your, your sense of fashion is. Yes. He's amazing. Yes. Every day you show up, the vibe is amazing. The vibe is suit bado amazing. Amazing. Oh, well, thank, thank you. We should, should have you on a billboard. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Niki fika up, what have you made another? Nadjom fuko irusu. It's a try. 
You'll be but Sasa is buttering you up before Niko na maoni Niko na maoni Niko na maoni Niko na maoni ya kukae kama sasa kama sasa Ile tunajua ni kivaa hivyo na ni kwenda hizi manywele kidogo atasema ona huyu aweva ah, 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 chaka weva usikia kwa tofauti ni kivaa itakaa yangu kuna lawyer anaitwa bobby nyingine nda vaa yes i know yes. alitengeneza katiba eh yeah, alitengeneza katiba aliko anaiza rasta man point is this na na vaa stack kama sije what is it utakatuka wewe yes ni nyoe utakaka wewe najua kena ka najua anyway i mean you may try and start anyway okay i begin by reading an excerpt from the the ruling that uh, was given by the Supreme Court <laughs> judges Philomena and Willu smoking one jalan joking dungu Isaac Lenore and William Ouko uh, they say this it is becoming increasingly common for two consenting adults to live together for long durations where these two adults have neither the desire wish nor intention to be within the confines of matrimony where such a situation is evident there is no intention whatsoever of contracting marriage the presumption of marriage must never be made where this intention does not exist it must always be remembered that marriage is a voluntary union as such courts should shy away from imposing marriage on unwilling persons sasa hii kitu ilitoka watu kwanza wakasema wengine wakaacha pressure bobby <laughs> hey, i don't think i'm the right nafas. person to start ulisema jana tukupatia nafasi let's have you yes what do you, why, why do you think first of all people are comfortable in common stays yeah, yeah. It's it's a cheaper way out. You know, I think cheaper in what sense? I mean like uh not in terms of like being together and stuff. I mean was say was say Salia one other option to go to the AG or to like other ways to make them official and to get the certificate. Ni me realize most times to keep easy laws na rules na uh decisions ama vitu kaizo. We don't really include mse mse ule ako kwa ground ule mse mwenye somebody who lives maybe in the slum mwenye ata hizi story ya jui hizi story as jane fikia hajaiski ya story kai ama mse ako ushago ajae ona online sju watu wanasema nini so i think i don't know i think i mean i respect the institution that marriage is i think it's really important like what they said when the it- intention is there and you know what you guys want and what you guys are doing i think it's just safer that you have everything else documented and cast in stone uh for to make easiness for other decisions that might need to occur in the future for your relationship i think it's important but i think CJ I don't know how I feel about it for now but I think to make the decisions to not to able to include everyone and to know that it makes sense kwa wale wa sipia wako kwa ground that's just how I feel was a ground or ground would be different mm. CJ what do you think uh, uh, people uh, opt maybe I guess for come stays and that you know this law I think has changed two or three times right kulikuwa mm. after two years Six months. six months and now I'm saying like, enough <laughs> <laughs> what do you think so uh, i don't think it is cheaper in terms of finances uh, that these people do not they can't afford it's very easy to go to the ag um, you can still have customary weddings you know you can bring your parents together Uh, your communities so you define customary for well, when you see oh <laughs> yeah you just have your families come together yeah. and there will be a formal agreement okay. between the two of you and your two families and, and having witnesses that one yes is it is recognized oh, okay. um you can walk to a religious official in an office and you don't have to have a big wedding it can be as simple as that two people with two witnesses as well and that happens a lot even at the AG uh, i think the part that makes that look a bit costly is the people who then have the grand weddings and some people think that is the only way that it has got to be done so it's not because of the resource some of that is just uh, some of it is accidental people move in and then um, they just don't leave <laughs> 
<laughs> Tomorrow. Yes, One they just. Short, two shots. Yeah. They don't leave. They don't leave. Then they begin to feel comfortable, and it's convenient. And um, <laughs> if the if the other person uh, sees the benefits of having that particular setup, they won't send away the other person. And mostly it is for the man. Once the woman has come in, he may not see the need unless he really has reasons why he doesn't want this lady. But if the woman is coming to his house, he doesn't see the need uh, for her to move out and then he begins the process. Because for him, this was the end goal anyway. Everything else that would be done, whether it is going to the parents, or paying the dowry, going to the AG, uh, going to a religious official, whichever one it would be, the end goal is to live with this woman. So if this woman has moved in, he doesn't see why he should go back through the process. So he will move on to the next thing and men move on very fast. So this situation will remain as it is and it may never be formalized. Sometimes it's not accidental. Sometimes it's actually intentional on one side where one person wants to make this work with the other person who may not be strong enough to tell them I don't want it. So the other person will just keep on living with them. Uh, there, and there's somebody who is very intentional about having a marriage, in a sense, whichever form it is, uh, literally marking territory and remaining within the territory. So they'll move in, not because it was an accident, but they intentionally <laughs> come in because they don't want anybody else to move into Shatter's house. Yeah. And they're trying to make Shatter marry them or something. I'm sorry I'm not trying to say that this is only women who do this, because there are men who are moving into ladies' houses as well. Um, and then, <laughs> oh yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. There are men who are moving in and they don't want to move out. So they'll stay there, they'll do all the household chores. It's very comfortable. Yeah. Uh, they will take the car to the garage, they will change the tires, they will do the groceries. So when they bring the value addition <laughs> to this place, the other person is not necessarily married to a person but they are married to the benefits of having this person where they feel if he is not here or if she is not here there are certain things that I will not have and so they may just keep them there um, there's also the thing of uh, the dynamics of our culture currently where guys will feel why should we go through the long process even when they have the intention mm. They'll ask themselves, I'm here, you're here. What's stopping us from... What's going on? <laughs> work. And they just decide, well, let's come in. There are others who <laughs> will say, I had a conversation with somebody the other day and they told me, you know, we want to move in together because we're both paying our rent and it's a bit strenuous on the two of us. So some people also have those kind of arrangements like, why should I pay rent and you pay rent? No, 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 but uh, yeah. we come <laughs> together. This is where we are going to go anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And we begin to do that. <laughs> right. So various reasons, various reasons. Some, some of it, as I say, the accident. Sometimes, you know, somebody got pregnant. So somebody will say, okay, well, just come in. So I take care of you with the baby. Mm -hmm. Or they actually move in with the baby and say, look, you are responsible for this. So there are very, various reasons why people find themselves in the come we stay. Um, each person would generally know why they are in there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. All right, so that's the question we're, gonna, we're asking you. Uh, as we jump to Shutter Boy. Why do you think people opt for Come We Stay? Why do you think people opt for Come We Stay? The SMS is 2242 and hashtag, hashtag rather, the hashtag. Hashtag. Easy. Hashtag. Yeah, hashtag to use is Daybreak. Uh, SMS 2242 and hashtag Daybreak. Why do you think people opt for Come We Stay? Born out on a Chagua Kuana relationship, Kama Hio, Shutter. Yeah, man. First of all, CJ, kitu wa mesema, mbona ulipie ngombe kama mazio unapata free. Hey. <laughs> kwa machache. Kwa machache. <laughs> Unapoi na memeka hapo. Kwa muda. Kwa watu wa muda wa elewe. <laughs> so, even on you to check it. Ilipie ngombe kama mazio inakuja free. Unanunua ya nini? <laughs> it's a blogger. Spoken, but it's somewhere. Bloggers it's somewhere. will say, Shatter calls dot 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 cows. Cows. Wacha wa andiji. Shatter calls women cows. Like you tajua kitu. Kurasi, kurasi, wewe. Sasa ndi imeregista kenya umesema, o ulisikia wapi. Sivo na umesema. No, na maziwa, mbona mwangalia maziwa. No, mbona mwangalia maziwa. Milk. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very much, yeah. very much indeed. Yes. Uh, the beautiful and the most amazing thing God ever created and made. Stand guard for the girl, Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's what I'm going to be. Because you could say, "Ma, but what when you're in marriage, come up economical refugees." You know, na like you. Maisha imekuwa gwana. Unaona utarudi ushago. Unaona acha niolewe. Ni rescue. Let me just rescue myself. Most marriages are a rescue mission. People here are firefighters. Nasema mamoto kila pali. But kiu kweli another thing kama vile tumesema hiyo customer marriage. And if you see Jamie, say you bring two families together, my friend. If you bring these two families together, first of all, <laughs> you know, in those sittings, but by the channel number one, you get so that we can extort our uncle. Walau sana juale unona ngapa professional negotiator negotiators. Yes yes. Bila na vaga court is a 1970. Nini baba mchana na mbuo wewe atoko imka kika usika. Watu sisi tuonge na ukijana. Waku extort vizuri. Unona. So ukijana na kachi ni vile kimeumana na yeye ekonomi ya Kenya sahihi na pigai sabo na na e basi. Already na ishina udem. Nini rina kwa unke itu shivutu zingine siyezi make. What I get? Ina kwa ni rai? Rais. Ni rai si akaitu na udem. Another thing, sexual education. It because people in our setting mostly maybe you go up town, see you come on from Zaga to you, but you go to me, Uji Julie, Uji Julie, if you get in the process of Kuji Julia, if you end up pregnant, when I would come be a child, you move in Arabia, Maisha, who go to the Uliwa, Jew was as in now, and I go and make a Madame Sherry, you can buy a ball, so you can buy a number. Kutoka Kim Dugo Kigros in you. The moment I put your ball at a fire in, I can be a coach. Kwanza in fact anaweza kwenda kwa hiyo cha Lee akidhulumiwa tu lakini she'd rather stay there akidhulumiwa than arudi home akiona hiyo ball mm. una get because aku, yes, the, the sexual education part of it haiko ndani yake akufunzwa anafanya experiments yeye mwenyewe hizi vitu una get alafu vile story ilitoka watu wengi walifikiria ina, ina target girl child ina affect girl child hii case ni mifuatilie kutoka kitambo hii case ni ya kitambo sana mm. actually ni boy child alirushwa in this case ni boy child alikikiwa ali, 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 ali out na kanyang'anywa mali 100% na, na, na mama unaona akaenda koti ya kwanza koti ya kwanza ikamsikiliza ah ikamsikiliza ika mama wakaenda apili apili kasikiliza boy child mama akaenda supreme court sasa supreme court at least kidogo ikapatia boy child mali 30% mm. ile mali ile kwa so it is not that the girls peke ndo affect the situation watu wanatakia an advantage wanaamua wewe acha nikae na wewe nitumie mali yako but one day utakuja kujua when you are no longer useful to me nitakupulia hii card hautajua but uzuri ni at now tumejua ii can stay sasa kitu tunafaa kudefine ni intent because court ilisema intention has to be there so what is intention mm. tukiwa na watu wimi na wewe is that intention have i ever promised you do you have witnesses that said this is a marriage unaelewa because once you have these things now uh, the bible says my people shall perish for the lack of knowledge so people have been in these things unknowing <coughs> but right now you cannot blame anyone information is available ndio hii inaongewa una get you have hata kama mtaandikia na kwa kwa soviet that mimi na intend kwa udem uche leo intend kunioa na tume sign that that intent has to be there una get but as it is right now people are getting into these things because of the economical situation that we have na social background ya families are they welcoming boyana do achikuja hapa anataka kuoa daughter wenu mtamsikiliza or not mm. una get mmefanya mtoto wenu kuolewa ni biashara mm. kitu kama hizo una get i think it's it's just a moral decay of sorts if I, you ask me i think also another question then would be um something that they raised here um, what the judge said they said that uh, where is it where is it where is it yes uh, in in context where Uh, they said there are relationships that exist where couples cohabit with no intention of <coughs> no getting married, mm. right? So she's, uh, they said, <laughs> in such context, such couples may choose to have an interdependent relationship outside marriage, while some may find this immoral or incredible. It is a reality of the times we live in today. And so they, the rules sort of, they're saying the National Assembly and Senate and the AG should enact law that deals with cohabitees. <laughs> in long term relationships in regards to their rights and obligations and like you say that's where i think it goes 
down there. So, Bobby, do you think that if somebody should, because the genesis of this case, as Shatter said, it'll go on by a property, and that has been a long standing um, debate in terms of property, especially if you choose to go your separate ways. Yeah. Do you think that this person who has, since it's now not married, no matter how long you stay, do you think that this person then has a right to some property? Come on, come stay. Yeah, but you see, now that's the thing. That's why I think easy laws are very important. Some of us will, can feel like maybe we're being attacked or Nikakuna ile agenda yenye ina onewa. But when you start to see it in a way that at some point it's going to be inevitable that maybe you will need to divide property or maybe you'll have to have conversations about kama hii law ya ya juzi ilikuwa ina inaongelelewa about ukijitoa unatoka na what you contributed into the relationship. Mm -hmm. But you see, if things have not been defined vizuri, vitutuka intent, kama yoja definiwa, ata yo cohabiting, what are the lines around it? What are the rules and regulations around it? If you guys do not have these discussions, you do not show intent, there's no proof of, of anything, there's no, unaza sema, okay, mean me kwa pika for 20 years, but, Atujaolewa, akuna contribution yangu imekuwa nutrition ya familia yangu. How are you going to be able to say, if uwe msia kikuruka, seme, zi, miskudris jai kuona, na umekuwa po for 20 years, how are you going to be able to prove such things? And it's just, I think it's just easier. It makes life and work easier and relationships easier when there's clear definitions, there's a clear understanding, there's a clear intent. So I think instead of siku yona ni kama, this is uh, restrictive or it it makes making decisions a bit weird then why are you accepting to cohabit with someone that you do not like or you do not want to be with i mean all these issues that actually i've learned a lot from what cj and shata have said that i had no knowledge about just until then and kama how easy vitu zote it makes you ignorant and unable to be able to make decisions. So why not just become more informed and understanding and seek out this knowledge so that it's easier for you? Because I promise, I don't want to break up, but I don't break up. It might be a bit difficult for you to discuss things or listen to each other. I don't want to afford lawyers. I don't want to do it. 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 That's why I think it's just better that we adhere and listen and understand better. Place where we ask questions and understand better so that in the inevitable inevitable uh, situation that you might have to divide things. And it's not just about property. It could be about even just your contribution into the family. All these discussions need to be had so that it's a bit easier for you to proceed with your lives. But mkikakwa yo gray area ya are we cohabiting? Unichali yangu, ama nimekuwa nae 20 years. Are you going to be okay to walk out without anything, without any recognition for your contribution? Is that something that you're going to be very okay with? Those, then ask yourself that. Or it's not just that you went out on the losing end, you maybe went out on broke. You could be the, the, the rich one in the relationship or the situation. You need to know how you're going to be able to assist your family in the mm -hmm. case that you had a family. It's just courtesy. I mean, these things, it's human nature for like things to go astray now, what to sana. But I think in the event that we're still able to have these conversations, it's very, very important that yeah. we do. Yeah. yeah. And also, I guess, CJ, that brings the other question, uh, which is how, <laughs> how long just one wait until they bring up the conversation, okay, is this, uh, are we heading anywhere? <laughs> or maybe in the beginning, you had said, there are people who find themselves in this situation where this guy has told me he's going to marry me. But now you are here, three, four, five, and there's nothing. Now it's quickly morphing into a come stay. How, how long does one have to wait before they say, eh, sasa nikani makasana. Maybe I need to have this conversation about where, where who are we, what are we? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's interesting that um, when we go to the workplace, we want to see a contract. Um, we will give our skill, we will give our time, 
but we want to see a contract, even if we are being paid, because we want to have some definite boundaries. We want to know how long will this last. You know, if I come in, you pay me the first month, the second month, but you've not given me a contract. I'll keep coming to the HR office and wondering when, when will my contract be ready. Uh, we do contracts around business. We do contracts around everything else. Interesting that when it comes to such an intricate relationship as marriage, then we will not see the need sometimes to farm it up. And the farming up does not begin even at the AG or at the pastors, imams or anywhere. It begins with a conversation between the two of you, whether you both want it and whether both of you are on the same page. Because unlike the workplace where your JD is so defined and your working hours are so defined, your terms and conditions will be very clear uh, to a certain degree, hopefully. <laughs> where <HR> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, when you are married to somebody, you are living with them indefinitely. There are no hours. Mm. It's literally the zero hour kind of a thing. There are no hours. There's nothing like it's eight to five. This is somebody you live with. You are in the same house with. You share the same space with. You're vulnerable around. Mm. They are around you when you're asleep, when you're unwell, when you're sick, in all kinds of situations. So literally your security is in the hands of this person. Your safety is in the hands of this person. It's not a place you feel you've got to guard yourself and yet you have nothing to protect yourself with. I think that sometimes that is a bit too presumptuous, that how we can take care of ourselves in every other space and not be able to define a space where we are completely vulnerable. Mm. Your property is here. You're living with somebody who you cannot define how you're living with them, and they can actually pick your property and go with it. Yeah. And you have not set this to be defined. Right. You're putting in energy. If I am in a business partnership with you, Willis, we will document my contribution so that when the profits are coming in, we will share that based on contribution or our shareholding agreements. But I am in a relationship that I will invest myself in and probably for the long term. This is not dating. You know, when you're dating, if you date for 20 years out there, <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, but you've not moved in. <laughs> but you are investing in this relationship within the house, living with this person, two, three, four, five, six, seven years, surely you need to step aside and say, look, where are we going? Is it, is it the hope? Uh, <coughs> the hope? You know, in the workplace, um, okay, let me use the workplace, for example. Right. In the workplace, you have a psychological contract. There are these aspirations, uh, dreams, right. expectations that you have of each other. They're not written down. They're not written down, but you just have that with your employer and the employer has that of the employee. There's a sense of that even in relationships, a certain psychological contract. Now, whoever is wiser will take advantage of that more than the other person. <laughs> it's not written down, right. but you'll find the more we live together, the more I'll expect something. So I'll be living together with Bobby, for example, and I'm coming home and I nearly in my head expect that food will be there, but we have never agreed that we are man and wife. Mm. And she will think that is expected of us, so she will do that. If, especially, the case that Shata was talking about, where people are going in because of economic situations, <laughs> so this person feels, for me to earn my place in this house, mm. I need to do certain things. So they begin to cook and clean and wash and do that, not necessarily because they are a wife, but they're trying to make themselves needed in that particular place, they feel it is expected of them and then I begin to expect it. So we've never sat down and agreed who are we, but <laughs> in the same manner, they're, they're in their head thinking, okay, so I'm here, I cook for this guy, I wash, I do this. And the friends and the how is your wife? Yeah. And, and so she's also feeling, <laughs> how Mama, come yeah. he never takes me out? Right. It's never been agreed that there is a relationship here, but there's an expectation that because I'm doing this, he should also be doing certain things. Mm -hmm. And I think that is how most of those, when you ask, most of those come with stays are surviving on a psychological contract, which is very dangerous yeah. because expectations need to be communicated. Mm -hmm. They need to be clear. They need to be agreed upon. I cannot expect of you something that you have not agreed 
to be. Mm. I can't just decide that from today, Willis, I expect you to call me every day. <laughs> and you're wondering, why should I call you? You know, <laughs> those expectations should be very clear on both sides. They need to be communicated. And the other person needs to agree to those expectations. So I think that, I think that when people get to the place where they begin to feel uncomfortable with them staying in there, that's the time to talk about it. Even if you feel uncomfortable in the third month, mm -hmm. it doesn't have to wait for three years, six or seven. It doesn't have to get to the place where there are four children, so you're wondering what's my future. Right. The moment you feel that you are settling but you are not sure of what you're settling into, you need to start asking the questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Oh, ni sema kitu. Ni kitu sema. Unaona acha nikwambie kitu eh. Sisi kama Africans we are communal. Mm -hmm. You know? And that is why dema kiolewa familia yao ingeleta sio chali alikuwa analeta pase. Ni actually ni buda chali. Ni familia ya kina boy ilikuwa inaleta vitu kwa kina dem. Mm. Una get because this was a communal thing. Unaelewa? Now we have moved to being very now do I call it a capitalistic state of mind, mm. even in families, mm. that now we are doing things in singular. Mm. When I get nime, dem, I have brothers and sisters, na jina dem four years, si jawai, awa jawai come home, mabro wangu waka muona na, na ma sister zangu, ma brother zaki awa jawai kuja bali sister wake, anaishi, mm. sister wa anaishi, wajuende huyu chali yake. When I get, because that alone, you can argue in court that our families met, our families don't have to yes. be our parents. You know, our families met, my brothers came and, the, and her sisters came, or her, her brothers came and my sisters came. So we to go on. Yeah, to go on, yeah, to go on, to go on. But CC, to manipulate situations, we listen to favor. That's it. Kuna siku nili kwa nambia chali fulani, sayilu unafanya arusi, sayilu kwa church, unawa dem. You should be very careful, because at that moment, uwe kama dem, na pewe kama chali, you should be, because at that moment you could be choosing your worst enemy in that situation right there. When you're saying I do, you could be choosing your, white, your worst enemy because that love you know? So you have to be you have to be very like fanya to research yako. Mm. Uko ni mtuwa gani. Huyu ni mtu ndakana ye, mtani. Hata kama tujafanya arusi, ndakana ye. Hata kwa na manipulate sheria, utapata huu mse ya tajuwa bukwao. Ndapata certain favors kwa CV yake, ya ndika is married. Kuna pali ya pali ya liya na jina yangu. Kama next of kid. Kuna pali ya jobi yao. Hali ya dika jina yangu eh, kama wife. Ndiyo apatiwe o oh, haka kaungeze yake yaonekani ni family guy ka bonus kaka kuja hapa na pale una get so ana manipulate situation. The family institution. He's married as long as it favors him. Mm. Unaona ama ama ha. As long as it favors her she's married. <laughs> Ikienda kum disadvantage yo oh, please we, we never agreed we are being married. Sisi tumekuwa tu tukiishi ni mpaka actually wewe ulikam nikakusort. Wewe uko na rent yeah. nikakusort when it does not favor them. Unaelewa? So you have to know these things. Lazima ujue mtu wako. Like, just don't be lazy with that. Mm. Kama tuna uwezo ya kulipa mahari and everything kuenda kwa, kwa, kwa AG and everything. AG ni 2,000 or 3,000. Chida ni line na kwa gapo, bro. Lebu yanda wapla ele. Utawa next time. But you can do it. You can do it outside of Nairobi as well. You know, the, the queue. Kwa yoni, kwa yoni trip. The 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 kids. <laughs> <laughs> but shut up. Nairobi, eh? You know, shut up. To get shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and this is this is what I was saying, Willis. Right. Sorry, sorry, shut up. But this is what I was saying. We invest in everything else. Mm. Yeah. But when it comes to this one, we begin to see mountains. Maswali. Yes. Yeah. Because a queue. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We can do it in other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Because it does not look like an emergency. You see, I, we invest in yeah. things that we feel the emergency is not get. Or value. value. <laughs> Kwa, you see, kitu, first of all, kama already mina yutu naishi pamoja, kama mimi kama chalisi kue kia dem ground, ni kama mbienda udishi na wewe lazima tukina certificate. Ama dema kune kia ground, haka niambia, before I, I move in, we must have a certificate. Mm. So, once we are living together, of course, your certificate ya 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 that said, lazima uku intentional na maisha yako. Yes. At the end of it all, the emotions of love that come to your head should not cloud your intent with your life. Because yes. at the moment, those emotions go away and not just yours, mm. your partners go away, is when you will sit down and realize actually have been I have not been intentional with what I want in my life mm. and for me.
unalewa just don't sit in a limbo why why would you want to live bila kujua future yako inakaaje mm. umepata watu na umse umse na zamka ishia say you are my girlfriend the fact that you are the mother of my children does not make you my wife mm. unaona huja why can't ask moja kasema umse anaweza cha kunipenda siku moja ama hata inaweza kuoneza umana umse asonge akidedi family yao ile very serious yeah. scenario family yao family yao iniruke iseme wewe brother yetu hajai kukuoa atukujui sisi wewe ulizana ndugu yetu bata kukuoa shut up a very serious scenario that you you've mentioned that the people who even get married they are wedded they receive their wedding certificate the marriage certificate in an official function and then the officiating minister does not do returns to the ag the ag does not recognize that there was a marriage the people getting that when they go for divorce and they realize that they don't even need to divorce yeah. because the first marriage was never returns were never done on that so they will say well i wedded in a church i wedded in a mosque or something whatever it was but the certificate was never taken back there were no returns so according to the ag you're not married, you're not married. You're not married. so you'll be oh complaining and saying but i was married to this person we have a certificate and they will walk out on you and they will go to the ag and the ag will join them to the next person because legally there's nothing that is holding them back from being married now you allow in anger emotions black and white That's then it. then i think i think i think the intent is like a really really big thing like you really have to know what you want and it all i always say this but i think it boils down again to yourself you have to love yourself know yourself enough for you to be able to know yo this is what i want so that by the time we engage in a relationship it's not seven years later and mm. unasema oh okay i wanted to get married right. If you're someone who knows I want marriage, I want to get married, I want kids, I want this 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 is what I want, then you should get with someone who wants the same things with you. Also so that akuna hiyo ku try. Yes. Yeah. So that akuna hiyo ku try ku change ya na mind that you na hama kwa mse, alafu unaandika sijui nini, unasema job. Z cuz kama hiyo intent haiko, oh mse atakutoka. Atakutoka and then what next you guys have oh, four kids you know i have a there's a situation where i almost said the real thing <laughs> <laughs> there's a situation where i almost said the name there's a situation where i have a friend who um you know and we were very cross with him yeah because he's been with this lady in this kind stay situation mm. then the dude disappears for a week says he's going on a work trip then So you know how like you can get um what do you call them in Instagram is uh, close friends in Facebook. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Mm. A close group or something. Yeah. So one of our other friends posted was in this close group. Then akakuja akatuweka picha za this guy went and got married. So this week was actually just two weeks. So this was uh, marriage and honeymoon. Oh my god. When got married to somebody in another country, got uh, citizenship and Sasa just comes back and Sasa huko ako na wewe come stay well no longer but yeah. and this was after eight and a half years. Imagine. I'm staying with somebody. So anyway, people, uh, looks like the words you are getting here is intention, uh, definition and as it is free follow up. <laughs> Make sure you go. What I need to say, but they will at least you can a document. However, it could be that maybe even they in cahoots with the minister. Let to shikanisha tu au dem a minisimboa. Shikanisha lafu. But in reality, lafu ogienda ogirudi kachi. Yo sande ngine kutoa sadaka unaambesha ulipelekea yeye. Oko belekea. Tumia ikama pia hii sadaka hii. Hey guys, I need to take some back here. <laughs> you see what the marriage act when a feedback here says it's an sms the marriage act does recognize does sorry recognize traditional customary marriages and provides for marriage certificate once the couple prove to the register of marriage that they have done the necessary rituals as per their customs and i think in that way where you can have one in terms of polygamy you can have one civil ya ag alafu moja ya customary hiyo imekubalika lakini huwezi kuwa na mbili ya ag ag atakwambia <laughs> Too much. Sometimes parents don't approve marriages and the couples opt to practice can stay. That's also been another uh, thing that has been mentioned a lot really where una una kapo wazazi wamekata so you say okay fine shika fair ni fuate. People opt to come and stay because they don't have money. That's also another 
another one economic refugees shata call them watu wakipendana they should stay together because nowadays hakuna wanaume wa kuoa we <laughs> that has come from a place ametafuta <laughs> 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 maisha imekuwa ngumu imebidi tuishi pamoja na pia tunataka tuone kama it work out ah that's the other thing I that's the last one yes that's the other thing that um, people say so there are some uh, i don't know if muslims do but i know there are uh, you know most christian setups uh, insist that you only move in together after marriage uh, but then the, this last sms is what people use as a counter people say but cj past i don't know if uh, it will work out i got to know this person maybe akilala hivi akiamka pengine bila makeup you know or maybe uh, anafinya toothpaste kutoka maybe anafinya toothpaste kutoka katikati or something like that <laughs> so what what that does that argument. you see <laughs> that is arguments and kind of arguments for this uh and people actually uh, use the same argument also for for sex they say sasa tungoje tena hadi nini alafu isipo what if we are not compatible anyway so these are some of the arguments that people use for can we stay as a build up uh, do those arguments hold water or what would be the counter argument they don't they don't because um okay so how many people will you test for example sexually before you decide this is the one I will be with and you may find somebody who is good in bed but terrible in everything else then you will feel like okay so this one is good in this area but the other things so it can't work out then you right. find somebody else who's good in these other things not good in bed so you say okay this one can't work out so how many people will you go by before you get to the place where you say this one has the balance but they say that uh, one fraud <laughs> and and well, then you see willis um even if you were to think about it from uh, the aspect of work for even internship has definite contracts there's no indefinite internship mm. it will be that this internship is for six months right. or at most one year um <laughs> you cannot have even casual workers beyond a certain level you'll be forced to um take the mean and they need to get certain benefit mm. so certain corrupt employers will always you know uh, get off the contract then renew it again take it for a short while and then get back because they're trying not to pay um, permanent and pensionable stuff you know mm. so even every other definition uh, and setup brings people to a place where there must be timelines to something so when you say you're staying with this person to know them we are 20 years now and i'm still getting to know myself and to know my wife and my wife is still getting to know me so when will you know this person you will never because they're growing they're changing i mean just last year you had dreadlocks here That's so right. <laughs> then you shaved it so <laughs> how much time will you spend with somebody to say i now know willis yeah. there's a time when you'll be so excited about one thing today uh, you know shata was joking but perhaps next year shata will be here in a suit and maybe not in <laughs> yeah. dreadlocks because it's also changing so how much time really would be fair enough to say i now know bobby there are certain things we step into we step into by faith you get to know your fundamentals these are my basics these are the things that i'm looking out for is this person honest does, does they want does this person want what i want uh, our futures our purposes do they converge after that we can work out the rest the other stuff is just people being crafty excuses pia kuna kitu kingine acha nikuambie sana sana ina affect gimadem chali acha kwa kuonesha intent yake from day one that mimi i am not a marrying type una get but wewe una feel una some change this happens a lot gimadem like mtu amesha kuambia mimi sio wagi na mimi si believe in marriage lakini wewe una feel ndani yako you can change this person and you give yourself an assignment to change this person and you move in yeah. and you start the assignment of changing this guy 10 years down the line anatokea na demu mwingine huko anachia na demu mwingine huko unaanza kesi anakupulia 10 story ya 10 years ago na kwambia mimi nilikwambia Mr. Yuko wewe ndio insist unataka unataka kwa si ndio what do you do that what do you do there huyu mtu alikwambia also you have to be you have to tell your emotions that i cannot know this person more than they know themselves mm. if this person told me they are not the marrying type i need they to believe that honest. i need to believe that once people show you who they are <clears throat> trust them and people don't i think the other thing is the reason why people don't believe it is because the society believes uh, oh sorry 
baby, when you come, I thought you liked her. <laughs> it's because the society believes that, uh, you know, they, they, you know, they have to be lazima kukwena marriage. Mm. I think one of the things, and they were very uh, particular to talk about this even in the ruling, is that there are people who, like you said, are just not the marrying type, either because either they're divorced or they saw certain things in their upbringing. Or oh, just, again, you, can't, so gonna do, you just don't want. Mm. But people don't believe that. Because you've yeah. been taught, go to school, get a, get a job. job, get yeah. married have kids. These days the order is <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Go to school, have kids. <laughs> have kids. Get a job. Get a job. <laughs> <laughs> then get married. I could not or, yeah, there's really no formula. Or sometimes even because of, unfortunately, what happens sometimes in school, because people having babies at 19, mm. unfortunately some even younger, uh, but it is such a dynamic changing system. So how then, uh, Bobby, do you propose if somebody is watching this mm. and they have been in a calm stay, whether, uh, like CJ said, it could be three months, it could be they are there now, this is their seventh year, yeah. um, they're celebrating their 10th anniversary, and they want to bring it up. They're like, you know what, me, I, I kind of want to, I'm at that point where, like CJ says, we are changing. Maybe yeah. in the beginning, I didn't want to, but now I'm like, mm. I, I think. It's sounding. Like, yeah, it's sounding. Some, how do they bring such a topic up? You know, something. Today, I thought I was going to be the one schooling people, but today I've done more <laughs> listening. <laughs> and I, I like it because if there's something these gentlemen have taught me today is that mtu akitaka, utadrua. Mtu akikutaka. From just everything they've said, either vitu zingine ni excuses. Atio, sijui, hakuna pesa, hakuna sijui nini, hakuna nini. All those things are just excuses. So if someone wants you, you're going to know, you're going to feel it, you're going to be sure, you won't be in a limbo. Hakuta uh, kwana, do I ask him what are we, am I, is it? No, 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 no. no, if they want you, they're going to make it right and they're gonna, they're gonna do right by you. So that's lesson number one. Usi, usi ji confused, uki feel confused. Jua, you have your answer. Right. <laughs> Actually, it's my Angela who said love can be so many things except unsure. Yes, yes. And it doesn't matter whether you have no money or no means or if you want to make something work, you make it work. Things that are of value to you or things that are important to you, you always find a way. Whether hauna do, ama haujalala, ama hauna food, you always find a way. It's just a matter of how bad you want it. So what I'd say to someone who's watching and they're in a come we stay situation or they're wondering, their minds have changed, they're growing or they're not too sure. I think get to know yourself immensely. Spend enough time with yourself for you to be able to know these are my standards, these are my boundaries. This is what I can accept. This is what I can tolerate. This is not good for me. And I know these things change all the time, but in this moment, presently, as of where you're at, ask yourself these conversations. Because these difficult conversations begin with yourself. You can't go asking someone else, what are we, when we mwenye uju una dainini. Auna intention yoyote, a life yako uju, unataka kumake decisions aina gani. Get to know yourself and understand what it is that you want nasi trizex, like uku rooted in for real this is what i want to do it doesn't have to be for forever or for it but it has to be what you feel for now and where you see your life uh, going deliberately once you've done that you can have these conversations with the people you're in a relationship with you can be able to bring it up a bit more confidently you can be able to ask and i like that cj used the analogy for the workplace because it's like when we think about things in another way, it's a bit easier. And then we let a conversation home, it's difficult. No, this is where you're the most vulnerable at. This is where you're supposed to be the most com comfortable. So why shouldn't you be able to ask, yo, what are we doing? What's the projection for the next three years? I want to get married. Is, have these conversations. There's nothing difficult about it. There's nothing shameful about it. If you're able to ask your boss for your contract because you know it is what is owed to you, your dues, your benefits, be able to be that confident to speak up in your relationships as well. Usio gope, but kitu nimelan nandarudia, as I finish what I'm saying, is if the intent is there and it is clearly defined, if Someone is being deliberate about you and they want you, they'll come get you. Akuna confusion, yoyote. Akuna maswaliza. 
oh hatuna fear ya kwenda kwa AGZ <laughs> kama ni kutembea hadi huko you guys are going to walk here yeah. yeah. kuna yeah. kuna kitu pia i think sir ju umeuliza bobi mtu mwenye kwa situation pia watu wafai kuwa afraid to walk away you should mm. not be afraid of walking yes if you've stayed in this marriage for 10 years five years one year yes this can we stay thing because we call it a marriage okay yeah, that's but a, now we have been told it's not a marriage <laughs> we don't if if you stayed for one month if you stayed for now me will is a clarification na ikuji usiogope ku walk una get usiogope ku walk kujiambie ati sasa ndafanya nini nikienda how do i go start there's a time you didn't know this person mm. and you survived kuna watu wengi sana wako kwa kwa situations because anajiambia how do i survive without this person una get una shame eh una feel watu wananionaaje you have a duty to yourself mm. unaona first of all we will just god if it is not working umuuliza hii swali i hope we answer usiogope ku step in fact sometimes it takes them to lose you to know what they had acha kae ukapa le kando peke yako atakapo turudi home atakama wazazi watakuwa atakufra watafrau na pond but ni kwenu what is the worst they can do hawata kunyima food hawata kupiga wataka hapo wiki moja wamefrown next week kwa mtoto wetu ndio huyu there's nothing we can do let's accept our son let's accept our daughter unaelewa but do not stay in a situation where you una feel una hao hauna ati ushaoneshwa kabisa hapa iwezekani but you still staying there with the hope that this person will change you are not born to live like that ukuzaliwa na mtu ishivo na kama uko hiyo situation rudi home ama kama unaza kombo nyumba yako peke yako uishi do it usiishi kwa confusion jichague choose you Right. Yes. Muziki hapo muziki. I think well as so, as as the music comes in but we've got to speak to the families as well. Where the families are the parents and all that that um, don't push your children to the place where they feel they have no option but come and stay mm. yes. because they feel you'll not accept uh, their choices. On the other hand, don't force them to stay in something because they feel there will be shame some of these cultural beliefs need to be looked at again because there are people who believe once a woman has gone away and had children she can't come back to the parents home so even if she suffers abuse and all those kind of things it is like there's no place for her we need to open up those spaces culture is dynamic we can create culture that is not detrimental to the people that we love all right All right, well, I hope you learned something. If you can, go ahead and um, check out Citizen Digital. They do have that story. Uh, the headline is just, Come We Stay Not A Marriage, Citizen Digital. You can go and read excerpts of that rule. <coughs> and I'm sure some of them are normally the Kenya law, K- KLR. You can go and check them out there as well. Uh, but it was, uh, this, is this one what we call landmark? You know, landmark, landmark rule. Yeah, yes. yeah because it's, it, it, it kind of defines or sends back people uh, like the Supreme Court has asked definitely Dis- the Senate and the National Assembly to now come up with laws you know that will you know apart from kufinya to tax now we just need to come up with other laws <laughs> of you know kind of defining this because it's changing it's changing in so many different ways and I guess it deserves to look at at the end of the day if you number one always is love yourself mm. number two know your intention from today Get, find out if if the intentions are clear hiyo swali ya what are we you listen kama mtambiwa we are two mammals right <laughs> define it. Do it yeah intention definition and then hata kama kwa wale by the if you are married <laughs> follow up and to <laughs> just go to the ag and and ask or ask your lawyer to check and you come certificate to lifika unaweza go kwa una operate hapo uko kwa kama we stay now do you so make sure you go and follow up with your with your minister your your pastor who joined you or the AG's office to see if indeed you are you're registered i think that the certificate only has a number and you can check it out somehow uh, but please do the information is out there check it out and then again if you're in a relationship and you don't know if it's fine you can ask communicate na pia kumbuka unaweza shtie i think one of the most freeing things my father has ever told me is that hata ukiwa kuna Nairobi ukifanya kazi usisahau uko na kweli mm. eh hey, ukiona kama umana of course stacking kiumane <laughs> <laughs> but you know that 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 you know that is somewhere the back that you have a place having that is not just to say you can always go back home but you can always go somewhere where you can talk about these issues mm. very important i i atimama nifanyae hivi so let us rush to the repeat <laughs> Peace and love.